Good afternoon. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. We're in my uh, apartment, my one-bedroom apartment. In the kitchen area, I call my kitchen studio, my cooking studio. And uh, welcome to all my subscribers. 363 I checked this morning. And uh, thank you very much. Today is Sunday, July 28th, 2024. Just let me make sure about that. July 28th. Yes, July 28th, 2024. Sunday. It is approximately 3.01 in the afternoon. Yes, I am cooking. Mr. Good Looking is cooking. And uh, it is 75 out. Very warm. No sun, it says sun, so I never trust a Google assistant. Anyways, I'm cooking in the slow cooker today. And uh, actually, I'm starting out in the electric skillet because I'm going to brown some ground beef. I'll tell you what the recipe is. It's from our website, Taste the Home. It's also a magazine. And... Uh, The first step, of course, was doing it in a Dutch oven. I'm not, I'm using my electric skillet. Um, the uh, Taste of Home magazine, I get it in an email with like five different slow cooker recipes. This one looked really appealing. Chili mac and macaroni and cheese. So the first step is I have, a, I have two and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm going to do that in my skillet. An onion, chopped up onion, and some peppers. I had this on, heating up. Yeah, skillet. Shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you. As long as you don't know, I didn't post anything about it. I was in a hospital uh, last Saturday. Shortest hospital stay I've ever had. I was in Saturday and I was out Monday. Not my regular, not my regular, like anything related to my my COPD or my breathing. or. To, I had a couple of falls here at the apartment. One was last Thursday. And it was the second one that got me to the hospital. I'm feeling fine, though. My, it was like my back gave out. I have back issues. It was like my back gave out on me both times. Uh, kind of scary, but, you know, I could have could have been worse. I could have hit my head somewhere. Once was in the bathroom. The bathroom's pretty large. So I wasn't near anything. Just in the middle of the... That's when my back gave out. So I'm fine now, for the most part. So I'm going to put in the onion. And let's come down off the meat. Oh, I am going to off the meat. Not the meat. Right? Down on the skillet. I got an onion, one medium onion, all chopped up as fine as I could. I did it by hand. Same with the peppers. Now, the recipe called for a green pepper, and I, I couldn't find any banana peppers. So I went with a yellow and a red. That's color. I didn't even know where to look. You can, they have jarred banana peppers. I didn't want that. I wasn't going to buy any hot ones like habaneros or whatever. But we're talking about the supermarkets on Cape Cod, so. I would imagine if I went down to like Shaw's and 
hiatus. I probably find some or the biggest stopping shop you know, down a little further on Cape. Probably could have gone to Mashpee. I probably could find banana peppers there. I thought it would be something in the produce, but well, this is two and a half pounds of ground beef. I can see why they want me to do it in a Dutch oven. I didn't feel like Shout out to Robin, everybody, Deborah. Deborah's been asking about me. How I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. Thank you very much. Shout out to Belinda, who we just here yesterday visiting. My new friend. I want to be more than a friend, but you know. Linda, nice to see you. It's really nice to see you. Anybody's welcome to come over and see me. This should be good. I haven't made chili like this kind of chili before. Now I'll be doing the uh Macaroni, like the last hour, I'll cook it and then put, dump it in. It really doesn't say it, so in the recipe, when they put it in. Well, after these beef and on, the, uh, the beef is all brown and uh, the onions are all cooked up. And peppers. I'll put this all into the, transfer this all into the crock pot and add the other ingredients. And it'll cook for about four or five hours. I'll probably be eating like a Blue Bloods again. Got a cup of coffee going in. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything about the hospitalization. It wasn't really no big deal. It was the falls were kind of scary. Especially the uh, first one in the bathroom. Because everything's hardwood floors here. A hardwood floor in the living area. And the bathroom is like ceramic. You know, flooring. Yeah, good thing I wasn't near like the toilet. I would have hit my head on the toilet going down like that. Would have really had to put a hamper on things for the day. And I don't know what happened Saturday. Pretty much the same thing. I was in like a really like grog when I woke up because my blood sugar was very low, like 46. So I was struggling to get something in me. And in my haste, I must have, I disconnected my oxygen. I must have been without it for like 
for a good 20 minutes. I didn't realize it. I made it into the bedroom, and as I, as I was connecting the tube in back, that's when I went down. I was bent over a little bit. That's when I went down on my... I mean, I didn't hit anything. I just went down, like, on my side, on my, onto my back, and I sat myself up. I have the device with that, that I record with. Um, it's a phone. It, it doesn't have any phone service except for emergency calls. I was able to dial 911 with it because my other cell phone was out. Hello, welcome back. Had a little glitch there. Must have stopped my recording. It's the same saying goodbye before the second half. So, anyways, everything's up in the slow cooker like a thunderous herd of turtles, as always. And uh, we'll see you soon. Many unbearable hours later. Hello, good evening. Welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. It is now 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time here on Cape Cod. Uh, eating like blue bloods, like my mother says. Uh, as you know, I started the uh, chili mac and cheese in the slow cooker earlier. It's done. It's delicious. I took a taste of it and uh, really good. Glad I made it with quite a bit of it. So let's come down off of me now. Enough of me, you saw me earlier. Twice, actually. I stopped the video earlier by mistake before I had a chance to sign off. Uh, Not off of me, the shot of the, there's a slow cooker. It's a six quart. Now the recipe called for, the recipe called for a seven quart. I don't have a seven quart. I got a six quart. Anyway, they made it. I gave some to my neighbor already. He didn't even make a dent in it. That's elbow macaroni. I could have used something else. I thought it needed more liquid. I'm glad I didn't put any more in. Other than the diced tomatoes. Undrain. It's got a kick to it, too. I put in a couple of spices that didn't call for, so I kind of made it my own. I got some Danos. I'm sure you've all heard of Danos. Um, spices and rubs. Really good. I got three, I had three bottles. The original, Chipotle, and a spicy. I put some of the spicy in. Yes, it does have a kick to it. Did I say it had a kick? Yes, it does. I have some sour cream here. This is optional. Put a dollop of that in there, or more. Now, I've already shredded the four cups of cheese, yes. So there's four cups of cheese in here. Shredded. I shredded it myself with my rotary shredder. There's Colby Jack and there's a cheddar cheese. Ah. That's delicious.
Oh my goodness, that's good. That is so tasty. I think I might have went with a couple of Instead of doing two cans of kidney beans, I probably would have done a kidney bean and like a pinto bean. Now you could make this with turkey, ground turkey. You could probably do this on stove top. Mmm. Oh my God, that, that's good. Oh, delicious. Gonna try that one. As, as always, I'll post the uh, recipe as it's written from the Taste of Home. And the link to Taste of Home. Very good, thank you for joining me. Oh, very good. And uh, I don't know when I'll be back this week, maybe midweek. I got another recipe in mind, slow cooker. I like doing the slow cooker because it gives me other meals throughout the week, leftovers. And I have to cook again for a while. Slow cooker is the favorite, my favorite method of cooking. Uh, it doesn't take that long. I mean, that doesn't take that long to prepare, you know? Everything is dump and go, mostly. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I'm up to 363. Thank you very much. Okay. I wish I could get to 1,000. I'd get one of those plaques, the silver plaques they send you. I think that's a thousand or a hundred thousand. I don't know if I get that many. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks to all my regulars. And the regulars, Rada. Thank you. And uh, see you soon. Bye, Cher. Bye, Robin. Bye, Deborah. Bye. Bye, Belinda. Bye, everybody. Debbie, this and that. All my originals. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I love you as all. Thanks for being part of my family. And I uh, will see you soon. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good Sunday night. Bye.